Hi there, or should I say bonjour? Uh, this is Steve Kaufman here. Uh, I'm going to talk about how to learn French online and specifically using the resources that are available at Link. In my previous video, I showed you how to find content in our library at Link or from elsewhere on the internet. And I'm going to use three examples here of how I would study. Now, uh, here is a lesson, and this is a lesson created by uh, two of our members. Uh, immediately, we see that there are, for me, as a learner of French, although I'm not learning French, I have played around with French and saved certain words. So what we see immediately is that there are some words that are highlighted in yellow, and some are blue, and some are not highlighted at all. What that means is that the blue words are new to me. I may know them, I may not know them, but I have not come across them before at Link. If you are a brand new learner at Link, all your words will be blue. Once you save a word, or link it as we say, it becomes yellow. And if you decide not to save a word, you can mark it as known individually, like here you can say known, or you can click linked and it'll remove all of the blue words that you did not link. All right. So this is kind of the fundamental task at link. It's, it's a way of adding words to your database of words that you want to learn. It's indicating the words that you already know and you set yourself self up so that the next time any of these yellow words show up, uh, you're reminded that you once looked them up, uh, you're reminded of what they mean and so forth. Okay, very quickly here, there are some instructions. We want you to read and listen. We want you to link new words. In other words, you know, decide the words you want to learn and, and click on them. Uh, if you have the time to submit some writing and also speak to a tutor on the subject of, of this lesson. You'll notice that there's a sound bar uh, where we can listen to this uh, uh, exchange. Salut Serge. Marguerite. Bonjour Serge. Um, Est-ce que tu sais pourquoi je t'appelle? Oui, je sais pourquoi tu m'appelles. Okay, uh, this is a, a relatively simple conversation. It's natural, it's unscripted. Um, the advantage of this lesson is that it contains a lot of relatively common words. Uh, one of my beliefs is that the sooner we can get away from uninteresting beginner content, the better. And this kind of conversation generally has fewer difficult words in it than, let's say, literature. So it's a very good place to start. You don't need to begin with very simple uh, material and, and think that you are building this great house based on building blocks or that you've got some great foundation in the language because in fact, everything we learn, we forget. And it's very difficult to make interesting content containing only the most common words in the language and so forth. So you're better off to struggle through with uh, uh, content that's a little difficult, linking, listen more than once, and even if you don't fully understand it, you move on to the next. Now, if I were doing this lesson, okay, comment, voilà. Est-ce que tu sais pourquoi je t'appelle? Now, you can save t'appelle, calling you, as a word. Or maybe you're more interested in, est-ce que tu sais pourquoi je t'appelle? You might be interested in this whole phrase. So then, why I call you? So you have a choice. You can either save an individual word or you can sell the, save the phrase. All right. So um, one thing, by the way, as you save these, these are added to your list of links for this lesson. You can always go in and flashcard them, do closed tests, print them, export them to your Anki or whatever the case may be. You probably don't need to look at this either once you're done with it. So now you have a better look at this text. Now, normally, if I were studying a language, uh, I would say, hmm, there's not that many new words here. Uh, it might be more convenient uh, to do this on my iPad. So maybe I want to go through and, and get rid of all of the blue words that I need to know. So, m'appelle, call me, yeah, I know that. Surprise, I know that. Podcast, I know that. Ac accent is an emphasis. Yeah, mais l'accent, emphasis, okay. So in other words, you're going to go through here and save these. Uh, now, and sometimes the translation, you know, permettre is would permit. So this translation that Google Translate has provided is not very good. So in that case, you click on search the dictionary 
and allow, would allow, so you can grab that verb would allow, permettre, you may or may not know that it's would allow. Sometimes you say, you just make, say allow because some of the, call it the functions of the word, the grammar is going to gradually get clearer and then you just save it. All right. So uh, I would go through and do that, uh, getting rid of all my blue words. Now I'm not going to do that for you here, but I would do that because then I can read it. I can read it on my, um, on my iPad uh, and I'll have all the words that I need. The other thing that I could do here is, uh, you know, uh, I regularly, you know, like ce qui permettrait, ce qui permettrait, that's the, you know, the uh, conditional, you know, it would permit, all right? So I might want to save that, and you see they've got it wrong, it's which would permit, so I would edit that, and I would say, no, that is which would permit. And then I would also add a tag. Now I haven't got, or maybe I have, yeah, conditional. All right, so I would, I would tag that as conditional because then later on in the vocab section, I can review a long list of examples of the conditional. Uh, there might be other expressions here or other, uh, you know, j'aimerais, here's another uh, conditional. So, you know, voila, here, this is quite interesting. J'aime, I could put, J'aimerais qu'on mette au point. Okay, so I go and save that as a phrase and see what they, I would like to put the point. Now that is wrong. Now Google Translate tries its best. If it doesn't come out quite correct, you may ask your tutor, what does this mean? Or really what this means is, I would like to, uh, I, would, I, I would like them to, uh, you know, um, create or mettre au point is to, to, to create something, right? I would like, and I might tag that for the conditional. And if I'm really clever, I might tag it also for the, um, what do you call it? Subjunctive, which I don't have here. So I add that and I'm going to have another tag because j'aimerais qu'on mette, j'aimerais qu'on mette is actually the subjunctive. Now, I, I, you know, that gets pretty uh, complicated, and if you don't know that, then, then you don't know that. Uh, but this way you can tag two uh, tags so that when you find, uh, you know, you can review all your subjunctives. Granted, this assumes a certain knowledge of the language, so you kind of grow with the system. At first you don't tag for that. You probably have a little book with some grammar explanations, or you've asked your tutor. You get a sense of what the uh, subjunctive is. And, uh, and, and as you become familiar with it, you start tagging for it. Or you might tag for, uh, you know, uh, like, je sais, sais is savoir, savez-vous. If you have trouble with that verb or the verb avoir, j'ai, vous avez, nous avons, or allez, vont, you may tag it as the verb, you know, allez, or, or however you want to use the tags. I find it quite useful to do. So, you know, that's kind of the main thing here. Uh, this is, I think, fun. It's not very difficult. It's for an intermediate learner. If you're beginning in French, there are a lot of very basic beginner lessons that you can spend a month or two on. But within a month or two, you should be moving on to these lessons. Now, uh, let's move on here. The other day, I went to Le Monde. I showed you how you can use our bookmarklet. Uh, to go and cut and paste and bring uh, articles in from from uh, the newspapers that are available on the internet. And so here, of course, there are more words that are new because the newspaper uses more complicated vocabulary. So I like to do a lot of reading without the sound. You'll notice that there's no, there's no sound bar here because this was just a newspaper article that we imported. So voila un constat. Okay, so you put your, whoops. Put your cursor there, and here is an observation. And here you have a number of recommended, um, you know, hints or meanings that our learners have chosen in the past. You may not be sure which one it, it, it is, which one applies in here. And I always say, don't worry about the dictionary definition. You want to get a hint as to what the meaning is. If you have a few hints, after a while you start to piece together what the meaning of this uh, article is. And it may still be a bit fuzzy. I think it's very important that language learners accept the fact that meaning 
any meaning in anything they're reading in the language is going to be unclear for a long, long time. And they should move on to new uh, material, even though what they're working with is a little unclear. It's not a matter of nailing it down and, and putting bricks or putting together a foundation. It's a matter of, of exposing yourself. And someone on my YouTube channel said, uh, quoting uh, uh, Michael Lewis with his lexical approach to language learning, uh, language learning is not a machine with components. Language learning is like a tree that you nourish with, uh, with uh, you know, sunlight and, and, and water and, and, and soil and nutrients and so forth. So we might just take that. Uh, qui va déranger, upset, sure. So, you know, here again, I could go to the quick link view here. Uh, a good thing to do is to do the quick link view to get through all of these new words. It's not that long a lesson, an article. Uh, then go back in and save phrases uh, for specific points of grammar that you want. And now you're set to go on your iPad where you can sit down in a comfortable chair um, and, uh, and read it again. And if there's sound on the iPad, you can listen to the sound and read it. And with your finger touch screen, just see the meanings of the words. So just moving on a little more quickly here, because I know there's a time limit. Here is a, an audiobook. So here's the kind of stuff that's available. All this, this is from our link library. It's Guy de Maupassant, L'Orla, from Livrophone, which they kindly allowed us to put up. And so we can listen here to... Le Orla, 8 mai. Quelle journée admirable. J'ai passé toute la matinée étendu sur l'herbe devant ma maison, sous l'énorme platane qui... Now, one of the things you can do with a novel like this, which which may have a lot of new words for you, you can again go through and, uh, you know, save the words that you need. Uh, and then if you can then, as I say, read it on your iPad, or if you prefer, and if you have a hard copy, you can actually read the book and have adjacent all of the words you need so that you can enjoy reading the book. The advantage of reading on the iPad is that you can also listen to it. So there's so many different ways that you can access this material. You can listen to it on an MP3 player while running, and I often do this, and of course I miss so much. Then I come back to the book, and I have my iPad handy with the meanings of the words available at the touch of a finger, and I read the book in paper, which is a more comfortable format. And then so every so often I will review the, the words that I've saved. The list here is short. If I went through here and saved all the words I needed, the list would get longer. And I think that's enough today uh, on the subject of how I study these lessons. And uh, next time I'll talk about how I would deal with them in the vocabulary section in order to have a better chance of, of remembering the words. So that's that. And thank you very much for listening.